Sorry, I apologize. That's the way I took it, yes. Yeah, that's the way you took it too. All right, good evening, everybody. We'll go ahead and get started. Got right here. 6.01 p.m. We'll call to order the uh, Pool Recreation Center Committee for April 19th already, 2023, if you can believe it. Uh, we'll go ahead and do roll call. Matt Stam, Chris Evans, Sean Miller, Corey Gibson. We're doing great. We're doing great, man. Danny Park. <laughs> Roger Stewart here. There we are. Andy Kwan here. Okay, see, we're half something in a row. Uh, Tina Payne here. Janet O'Donnell here. Blake Pennington here. Neil Owens here. Brent Clark Head. Yeah, that's me. I'm here. Mike McCormick here. Excellent. <laughs> all right. For all those that are able to, please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic. Which stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There are two folks from the audience there in the public get a chance to grab the agenda packet on the way in. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you. All right, moving right along to item number four, approval of the agenda. Is there a motion? I would make a motion to approve the agenda. And I do want to note uh, on the approval of the agenda, this one has just the March 1st uh, meeting minutes, the one I'd sent out previously. I was hoping to have the other uh, last meeting done, but I just didn't get it done today. So uh, that is the change from what was uh, sent out on Monday. So motion by Neil. Second. Second by Janet. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 aye, oppose, same sign. Moving right along to item number five, approval of minutes uh, for from the March 1st meeting. Any questions? Motion? To approve the minutes. Motion by Janet. Second. Seconded by Mike. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries to approve the minutes. Uh, you will find here attached uh, to your packets as well as on the website uh, for all those watching at home uh, is the updated uh, to date sales tax revenue. Uh, so to date right now uh, after March, so March 31st uh, or towards the end of the month, I just put the last day of the month. Um, we did receive uh, 70000 uh, $57.25 uh, was the last uh, payment we received. Uh, bringing the uh, running total to date, uh, $1,542,527.69 uh, from what we had budgeted of $766,659. Any questions on that? All right. Moving right along to... <clears throat> Item 7A, so turn over to SJCF for updates. Uh, they're gonna show uh, design drawings, uh, updated renderings, um, then we'll try to talk as a group, I didn't know where to put this, so uh, as a brick mob murals, and then also kind of roll into McCown Gordon updates as well, all in their new business. So do you want me to drive this one? Do you wanna drive that one? Gary, the floor is yours. Oh, fuck. A video that's really large, yeah. and that would just gather around my laptop. So. Thank you for giving me the flash drive right now. You know how much I love that. I like it. Well, how's that get this pulled up? Yeah, so um, I think mainly we'll turn it over to Cal Gordon, but uh, we've been obviously working still hard on the uh, drawings and uh, construction documents um, and recently bid out the metal building package as well as the electrical switch gear long lead items uh, these are the longest longest lead items on the project so we bid them out early uh, in order to get uh, you know them ordered early so that we can finish on a, a time get 
I think I'll let them go until uh, Brent gets the plan pulled out. So. <clears throat> You to speak into the microphone here? Yes, please. All right. Sir. All right. So uh, last night we did present our GMP amendment number uh, amendment number two to the contract. Um, amendment one was the price for lines park. Amendment two is the addition for uh, the first bid package. The bid package, um, as you guys can, can turn to the uh, the second page in here after section one estimate narrative. Um, so it gives a little bit of description of what was in there, but the the major item was the uh, the engineering, furnishing, and installing the pre-engineered metal building, insulated metal panels, that entire. Uh, assembly that system and then the the uh, purchase of all of the electrical switch gear so it's not just the big uh, 1600 amp panel it's all the transformers the variable frequency drives um, all of the sub panels just everything that was on the one line diagram is in that price and then uh, just the associated uh, bonds insurance fee uh, as it is um, in, the, in the contract based on those rates. Uh, so a couple of things I did want to point out here on the allowances. Um, we did include a material escalation allowance of $200,000. Um, that does a couple of things for the project is <clears throat> when a pre-engineered manufacturer orders their raw material from the steel mill, they don't do that until about 60 days prior to fabricating it. Um, in, in the case of, of this and any building that's this complex, there's about a 10 to 12 uh, week time on shop drawings. And then once those are in and approved, then it takes them about 16 weeks um, before it hits their, uh, their fabrication date. And then they've got, they'll turn through it in about a week to week and a half at their plant. Um, but they are, they are uh, not able to lock in their actual raw material pricing. So their big flat stock, their big sheets of, you know, three quarter or one inch or inch and a half thick steel that they're actually making the big columns and the rafter beams and all that. Um, so there's two ways that they can guarantee the price. One is they put a bunch of money on it and say, we've got, we've got it covered. Um, the other and this is the route we've been going lately because one, it's very transparent. It's fair to all parties involved and we can, we can track it is they say we have this, this many tons, this amount of money um, that's subject to an index. So this CRC dash EXW Indiana cold rolled coil X works Indiana. That's a, you can go and track that. Um, right now it's going for $1,400 a ton. So they said we're in at $1,400 a ton. If that price goes up, we'll adjust this set amount, this $1,400,464 up the same percent. If it goes down, we'll adjust our price down that same amount. So there's two examples in there. The one, if it's $1,450 a ton, uh, 60 days prior to shipment, it's an add of $50,016. Uh, the same way, if it is down $50 a ton, then there's a credit back of $50,016. So it's it's fair to, to everybody on there, and we don't have somebody just throwing a bunch of money on to protect the price. So that's something that um, I personally was involved in a project with the city of Manhattan. It was at their joint maintenance facility. So a nice facility is about 70,000 square feet. Um, and we had a $472,000 allowance set aside for material price escalation. And at every owner architect contractor meeting, OAC meeting, we'd had those every two weeks. We tracked that index to see how much of that allowance needed to be allocated. Um, and about a month before we locked in the price, the steel market took a nosedive. 
had peaked somewhere in uh, late September at around, um, it was, it was uh, about a $350,000, what would have been a $350,000 ad. We ordered it in December, it wound up being an $18,000 ad. So we then returned $456,000 plus or minus a little bit back to the owner. So uh, that, that was just one example. We've done this uh, on some other projects that I've not personally been involved with, but our company's done and, and we've had a lot of success with it. So we felt like this was another, another great one to do that. Um, and again, it's just, it's very transparent to everybody. It keeps the supplier from just throwing money on and saying we've got it covered and something that we can track in a very, very open manner. So that's the history behind that. And that may be way more information than anybody cared to know. Um, but we felt like that was something that was worthy of explaining the thought process behind. So I don't know if anybody's got any specific questions on that, but I know that's a lot of information to, <laughs> to digest there. Um, <clears throat> then uh, we also had a couple of alternates, and I'll, I'll let Jake dive into the, the two alternates. The, uh, yep, um, alternate number one. So this came um, as a recommendation from our uh, metal building supplier. Um, they've seen this used in... Um, this similar circumstance in auditoriums, um, but this applies an additional coat of protection on the inside face of the insulated wall. Um, that cost came in right around twenty six thousand um, dollars. And kind of like we explained last night, this doesn't need this decision doesn't need to be made today. Something we could probably tack on um, to the second bid package. Um, after that, I mean prior to fabrication. So sometime around September, back that on as well. So didn't, didn't need to, uh, no rush on that alternate. And then the second alternate, this is something. Um, so we bid out the electrical gear. We got three bids back. Um, Square D had a little bit higher price, um, but they also had a little bit better lead time. Um, so we wanted to provide that option um, to you guys as well. Um, right now our base bid lead time is sitting around 70 to 72 with the square d gear um that potentially lead time came is right around 49 weeks but i did want to point out that that 49 weeks isn't guaranteed uh, no one's going to lock in uh, no one's going to guarantee anything right now um, we've had a couple circumstances on our last couple projects where um, they've said 52 weeks or 49 weeks and then um, they're still <coughs> pushing pushing those lead times out like a month two months <coughs> We, uh, we asked the question and wanted to give the, the committee or the council the options to finish the tech deal. Uh, and so we just wanted to provide that information and then whatever decision you want is fine with us on it. Question on mm -hmm. this additional protection. Mm -hmm. What exactly is he protecting it from? Uh, the chlorine in the air. That it damage, that. like rusting. We talk. Yeah, what what that, are we talking? About? That's a metal skin on that panel, and it it will corrode. So it's going to. It's an extra protection against rust. How much extra protection is it going to give us? Well, it's all up to what that coating is. Whether it's steel, whatever it is, that coating is key to keeping the chlorine off of the metal. I understand that. I'm just if you're talking about adding. A twenty-six thousand dollar cost. Is it extending it? Are you giving yourself an extra ten years before it rusts? Are you It'll giving yourself an extra twenty years before years, it rusts? If you don't have good protection, you'll start seeing corrosion in two to three years. Yeah. Or if you so, be adding this coating, how much more? Neil, protection? Neil probably could answer that as well as I could. I mean, it's amazing how fast chlorine starts attacking metal. Right. A lot of it's going to depend. A lot of factors, though. relative humidity. But, um, 
it was offered to us by the pre-engineered supplier because they've done this exact same thing in an auditorium before and they said we'd recommend doing it. as far as saying this is going to give you 10 more years on your panel before you they, they won't give us any of that information of hey you're going to get x number of years because environmental factors that, that are out of builders control or the the manufacturer's control on that based on their their experience part of that uh, industry so if it's something that's critical to the building why isn't it in the it's base not bed a rust right it starts eating at the metal and chlorine starts eating into the metal so and, and so if it's by. so what's in the base bed if you're so giving us a metal building it's going to already has a galvanized uh, panel on it and then it's painted and then it has a clear coat this is just which again is why I'm asking what's the additional value and I'm just trying to clarify I'm so what I can do is is I can see if they've got a like a side-by-side -side comparison of this one they didn't and the product was good for 10 years and this one they did and it's been 15 because yeah. so, if we're going to spend twenty six thousand dollars, and it's going to save them from ten years having to do some stuff to it, which I have no idea what it would be or wouldn't be, then I'd say yes, great, let's do that. But if we're going to add this extra product and it's going to not really give them much benefit, and in ten years they're going to have to turn around and add the twenty six thousand dollars to recode it anyway, are almost all of them that are added or built have the extra protection on them? Uh, this area that you've done, I, I have not asked him. I'd be curious to know how many have done it and then yeah, give them a call many, yeah. and find out what the, because it's really a firsthand kind of, you want to know, because it sounded like there's already three different coatings on it. So I'd like to know if somebody else did it or if they didn't do it, what was there? Yeah. So the, the coating that's on it, is that, is that the answer? Like do all the wise. At, at a example. minimum, it would have, so it's either the siliconized polyester or the polyvinyl something something PPF. Um, and on an exterior outside building application, they have a 25 and a 35 year warranty. So they're, they're a very good product to start with if they're standing up to UV. Um, but chlorine is its own animal. But who's been over into the chemical room in the pool house will attest. Uh, so sounds like we've got some more information to do for the committee here. Some more information to find out. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna ask our supplier is if they have a side by side comparison or a for instance of we did how many times they've encountered that. And I think that you know the council was clear last night, and you know they, that's an easy add, you know, for later. So yeah. right, right. Oh. And, and that is a factory applied coating that is there's not a field applied deal. Um, so, you know, 20 years down the road, you, you're going to have at that point, you'd probably be using paints, which are tenemic prep work and then going in and, and actually painting, not doing a clear. <laughs> Also add that uh, part of the steel package was to galvanize the steel. That's also factory. Well, not that factory applied, they send it off, get it dipped, and then brought back. So there's an extra added protection on the steel uh, that, were, that was included in the plus a special coating over the galvanize. Um, so we included in this uh, both both schedules, so um, the base schedule and then the alternate for number two. And uh, this one here, let's go to the base. We're on the base bid. Okay, so on the base bid, um, so just looking at that schedule, everything is in red is, is a critical path item, which means that 
if that moves out one day, it moves to the end of the schedule one day. Uh, everything that is in yellow on the bar chart is within a week. Who is a week or more off of that critical path? So you can see big and loud and red is electrical gear. That is the driver on the project. Uh, that's pushing all of those items out. Um, is it, you just can't do all your permanent power and, and uh, all of that until the switch gear gets there. You get it fired up. That puts a move in of uh, September of 24. On the alternate schedule, now remember this we had a 72 week, nine weeks, so about a 23 week difference. On the second schedule, though, the net result on that is about an eight or nine week pickup because it, at some point your electrical gear is off that critical path, but now you've got a new item that's driving the end date on your schedule. Or in this case, it was mechanical equipment. So there's an endless supply of tasks that will drive your critical schedule. So you just got to drive, draw that line in the sand and say, okay, path, this is our critical path, and these are the things we really have to manage to. So even if we did buy up to that square D, Up at this point right now is eight or nine. Really, you're looking at one hundred and seven thousand dollars for potentially eight or nine. So again, that's a it's not our decision to make. That's Valley Center's decision to make. A project, what's best for the community? Just wanted to give you the options, give you the data behind the options, and then. But that eight or nine week gain may not be a gain at all if their 52 weeks doesn't stand. Well, it's because it, you said that those have been running kind of. It could back up to six, three weeks before the electrical gear would impact that again. There'd be a little bit of a grace period because it's so far off the critical path now because the mechanical is driving it. So it's just. <laughs> Would you say those dates were the two dates, completion dates? So base bid was uh, December 19th for base bid, and then uh, alternate schedule was October 9th for our owner. Looking at you, Blake, because yeah, it's not really going to make a lot yeah. of difference. <laughs> that time of eight, year. Eight, eight or nine weeks, yeah. I think with our budget right now, I think that would be smart of us to hold off. I mean, I know we want to get it done, but I think just being wise with the money, the, the 107 is probably, and it's not like, like you said, it's a chess game, so we don't sure know, but yeah, it's personally, not I don't, I don't think we spend the $107,000 for a, maybe a week early. That's kind of my thoughts. That, that one's an, an immediate because that is our critical path item. Uh, so, so do we need to have some sort of motion from this committee or a recommendation no, they don't. to pass on to the council? No, I mean, I think, I think it's been a consensus across the board, and so I mean, I'll give them the I'll give them the direction to okay. go ahead and order it. So go ahead and order so it. The cheaper or the, the long way. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And we've got we've got them drafted whichever way the the council was going to go, and so as soon as that's executed, we'll hit the same. I think I just got the electronic signature late today. And is that 72 weeks that they recommend? Is that pretty solid with them? Or is that is that still in flux like the other? I, yeah, it's it's still in flux. Okay. okay. Um, 
is in flux. Construction. Every job is a bit Okay. Well, I, I just wouldn't want this to be pushed to the middle of January, February because of that. So. And we're seeing that as a more uh, maybe realistic from what we're seeing right now. I don't know if that would, I'm sure that's what you guys are seeing on all your projects as well. You have, you have projects that are, they don't start construction for a while because they're, they're doing the same thing. They're wearing the switch gear early, but not starting construction for a month or two. Reason to start, say demo, uh, and then just sit there. <laughs> it, was, it was easier to start later. And, It's this is uh, any of us have ever dealt with this in our careers. <coughs> Learning this as we go and trying to take approaches that work have worked on other projects and apply it to ones that we're working on. Now. So, I think based on what we're seeing, that 72 weeks is definitely on the more real. However, just like the 49 weeks, they will not stamp it guaranteed. Not, it's not there until it's unloaded on the truck. And it's not damaged. <laughs> then, it's, then it's there. Uh, but we, we do make every effort to expedite it, especially on the front ends. We're just like having our, our purchase orders ready to go. As soon as they're executed, they go out. And, uh, and that, that starts that clock ticking. Could, can I ask one question, just point of clarification on an earlier topic, and you've done a great job explaining this. I just have one question. But on the pre-engineered metal building pricing, and you were talking about the flexing up or down depending on the current rate, is there a maximum percentage it would flex up? So theoretically, no. Um, what we did was we looked back historically and saw how much price went up and down and tried to is something that we felt was going to be a safe cap, but uh, there's more international conflict and mm. the price of steel goes through the roof. And there, there is no, there's your approval, uh, but at that point, there would be some clauses going to effect and things like that. So, what we put what we on that. And our, that's, that's what we thought was, was real. There's always the, always the, if, if it is outrageous, let's say it is dollars a ton, mm -hmm. uh, we can look at it and go, time out, we're, we're not. Right. Put this on hold until. Thank you very much. Good thing about it, an allowance. If the price doesn't change, then you get that allowance back. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. So In theory. <laughs> well, it'll, like, like we said, we'll we'll track this throughout the the. We'll chart it on an index, and, and it's all it's all there. In the I like doing business that way. It's just. You don't have you don't have people just adding their number just to say that. Sure. Um, so that's uh, a couple other things we just uh, did attach to the drawing logs and the, and the specification. Uh, I, I think uh, reaching out to the market and. They think that we had competitive quotes. Uh, we had. Yeah, we had four metal bin bids and then three electric. Okay. All right. Yes, ready to go. Yeah, rock and roll. Okay. All right, I'm going to turn it back over to the Schaefer team. So, Brent, I sent you. Or, Go flash drive was a plan. There you go. Um, so just to keep you updated on the plan, um, 
everything still where it should be. But uh, we, we've added a couple of things uh, in the child center area. We now have uh, an area for small children to be uh, kind of corralled, uh, change diapers, uh, you know, a sink there. Um, it's really corral, it, and it's done with furniture, so that can be changed however you want to. But it's furniture that's uh, hard to move, you know, for kid, little kids. Uh, that'd be for like the one-year-olds, toddlers, kids that aren't really running around yet. Um, really protection for them. And then if you'd go to Brent's favorite area, uh, between the locker rooms, uh, as you know, well, as you might remember, we did delete some showers, which allowed us to uh, incorporate a sauna into this plan. So what you see between the two locker rooms is a sauna. J Janet was more excited than I am. <laughs> I still was like, oh my gosh, we didn't put a sauna or a hot tub in this thing. What were I we know. thinking? I know. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that sits now between the two locker rooms directly off the pool deck. Uh, and talking to our mechanical engineer, um, we did have kind of a softened area as you came out. And so it was recessed a little bit. And what uh, Brad told us was that, you know, people go in there and they throw water on the hot coals. It gets real steamy in there. Then you open the door and all that steam needs to go somewhere. So what it does, it needs to go up in that tall volume, that high volume of the pool and not sit underneath some kind of a soffit and just sit there and drip and, and, and rain, really. So that's why the, the door is right off the pool deck uh, so that that steam can get away and out of there as needed. Um, created a little, some little pockets there to get into the locker room off the pool deck too. So the line of sights, um, walk by and see into the locker room. Um, other than that, I did send uh, uh, Blake some drawings on the, the lines and the courts. So I wanna get his input on that. Um, wanna make sure that uh, everything's clear of everything. Um, Last time we talked, the main uh, basketball court is not going to be striped. It's just going to have the, the free throw line. However, the two side courts are going to be striped. And the reason for that is uh, I think you have more people playing. Uh, we'll have more of our games running that way for rec league, league. Yeah. So, or the senior league. Yeah, the senior league, either one. So that, that drum is not quite uh, what I sent you today. Yeah, so yeah. Um, it's a little bit dated. Um, and then you wanted two volleyball courts running cross courts. So uh, that's what kind of we have a, a back and forth discussion on. It's right. And then there's. The is, that, is that on here? No. no it's not. Okay. I was saying, on, yeah. Okay. I was trying to figure it out. Just a few so many lines, lines right now. It's a lot of lines. Yeah. We're not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. And, yeah. uh, What's really, this one in the middle? That is the volleyball. Oh, that's he so one all, volleyball. Yeah, he would okay. all the options there. Okay. And that other one that runs sideways is the pickleball court. Yeah, that's the person drawing. These will be a different <laughs> color, so yeah. there will be some distinction now. Yeah. In black and white, it gets pretty muddy. It does. So then you would only put one pickleball court. Uh, our goal is to have two or three. Yeah. Like three. 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 Three, yeah. But just yeah. Yeah. only strike that one. way. <laughs> we just won't have all those volleyball. Volleyball courts, and there's another basketball court that's running this way, so it's a lot less crowded. Okay, saying. yeah, this is Sorry. everything. We put everything. <laughs> this on. was proving our point the other day when we had this conversation that uh, if we strike everything, yeah. you can't see anything. So no. we'll we'll continue to tell yeah. when we work with Blake to pick colors and yeah. strike. Oh, I see it. To yeah. clarify, so takes me a minute. No matter what sport you're trying to play in there, you understand which lines matter to yeah. you. So. I think that was a black and gold dress, or was it blue or black? It, took, it takes me a minute. Issue, you'll have to issue glasses for each sport, and they can only see the color. <laughs> that might be. But you're, you're right. I mean, once it's actually down, I mean, it's a lot I'm different than on paper. For anybody listening, that's not <laughs> they can't hear it down there, anyways. That's okay. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing I want to verify is uh, is can you play volleyball or pickleball underneath a basketball goal? It's been raised. Um, oh, yeah. It'd be raised enough um, to not be a, an issue. So I, I just want to verify. That. I don't know about volleyball, pickleball. I mean, yeah, if you're hitting yeah. that high, I, I mean, yeah. it'd be volleyball. It would be that. Yeah. 
Uh, if you want to go to the, the 3D uh, kind of images, we. Yep. Is there anything? Okay. We do have a meeting with uh, the new uh, uh, metal building supplier. Uh, that's on Monday. So we're going to kick this off right away and um, kind of coordinate uh, metal building, structural, pool, and mechanical all together. So. For selecting somebody tonight. So uh, we're starting our images that uh, we've, we've promised to provide, and uh, this is a great, um, great image of the sun setting, uh, and then the, the bus showing up. And I, I just think this is a nice, nice image of the exterior. Um, you can imagine that that tall wall, maybe having some brick mob. Sorry, maybe having some uh, some images on there or something. I'm not sure if they're. Oh, you said up. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> um, sure, they will be the most cost effective. Okay, <laughs> and then maybe having that image wrap around, uh, possibly into the there at the entry. That'd be a nice three D image. Uh, I saw the I saw the images for Alliance Park, and they are. Fun. We've got probably. And, you know, these images, uh, we're not quite done yet. We still have some more uh, developing to do. Uh, we just really put the stop on the, the rendering today and for this meeting. And I think if you gave us one more week, um, we could really make these look really nice. What you don't see in here is the basketball courts. Uh, we have not gotten that yet, I'll be honest. Um, walking through the, through the spaces there. Uh, these could be used for fundraising if you want to out to some uh, company. Not sure what your what your plan is. Now, were we going to look at square columns? Or yeah. sorry, I thought. Okay. Unless you want unless, the tapered, yeah. I unless everyone tapered. likes this one, or if they want to at least we, see them. I thought we liked. The I thought we had the taper. I thought the taper was what we talked. I about. thought that's I what we decided. Was, but well, I thought we wanted columns. I thought we were going to start going up to some pillars. Well, I, I thought we at least wanted to look at it. I think we wanted to see. Yeah. I thought we want to see what it looked like on this building. Yeah, I agree. If I, I remember I, right. I kind of made last that actually. Yep. And are we doing windows still up top? Or are they coming out? That's the cow wall. That's yep. the that's the translucent. the translucent panel above. Okay. Um, and actually, that is with the window head brought down based on our previous discussion with with McCowan and, and the committee. That that window head has been has been lowered um, at about. I think it still looks. I think yeah, it's yeah, good. good. Yeah. yeah, we didn't lose much power there. I mean, again, we yeah. balanced not bringing it too low that we were yeah. going to lose the effect we were looking for. So, now, do you know? We're up, I mean, just I'm curious on on height. So, what's the top of that the actual window um, from from the ground level there? At the uh, no the, to right to right here at the actual window. That's not, eleven feet right there. Eleven feet. Okay. Yep. Okay. The actual window. Sorry, I was curious. Yeah, yeah. And it's held three feet, three foot four off the ground. So Blake would be able to see through. I didn't know if Blake. <laughs> see, I was worried about Blake. You know, for the height. So okay. Yeah, so good. <laughs> I can see through the foul wall too. So. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I want to. Image, I want Blake. I want. I, I, that, that's what the height perspective we need is. Blake right here. Put Blake in there. Down, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put Blake in there because he's below the scale. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, here's an image of the pool, obviously. Uh, lots of purple, lots of yellow, um, lots of activity. Uh, these are all taken from a video I'm going to show you uh, here in a second. Then we'd like to incorporate some, some Valley Center, maybe the Hornets. Um, don't know if on that wall or maybe the back wall behind the, the diving. Box um, working through that, and if you have any suggestions or uh, want to see something up there, uh, please let us know. That climbing wall removable? What? Is it removable? It's actually moved to the other side of the oh, pool yeah. already. Um, from where it is, it's on the on the south side of the pool. From but is it a permanent structure? I believe it is. Yeah. How's permanent. It have a bolt so you can take it out, but not it's not just sitting there. The it way it needs is, to be fixed, yeah. you know. The way it is at the pool right now, like the one we have, it 
it can be the footing part of it, the metal brackets or whatever, or what stay yeah. on the deck. Okay. I don't know if you've seen that, but yeah. uh, right. Well, it's since it's been laid down for the season, it's actually been removed for the renovation part of it. But um, yes, it lays down and can be taken out of the way for the season. I just didn't know if that was yeah. a conversation you guys had with Agra yeah. about. Yeah, she said it was far enough Different over. pieces okay. are set for the. Yeah, she said it was far enough down that they could see where they judges okay. needed to see. Yeah. Kind of at the um, waiting pool or the zero entry pool. Perspective is a little strange because that you're looking straight onto that little up and down little slide. Little slide. Yeah. We'll have acoustical uh, panels going all the way around. Um, some are great. Large end wall we've already identified as somewhere that we would be trying to opportunity there. So portion, yeah. Portion that's not shown is the duct work that's in here. Um, there is a duct that goes around the whole, the whole perimeters up in where the yellow uh, columns bend. That'd be right up there at that bend. So you need to add that so it's actually. Stalling, so I don't. Uh, and then we walk through the fitness area. This is back in the around the back side of the track, um, opposite the entry. That is a mirror, but our rendering software doesn't do mirrors. Or Sorry, it's back the other way now. Just highlighting the track and uh, kind of the windows to the outside on the left. Uh, well, yeah. We'll have a railing along there so you can't just jump onto the track and there'll be certain areas you can, you can get on the track. Um, is that just a plain railing or does it have that glass inserts? I'm just curious. It's, it's open. Okay. Some kids could get underneath it, I guess. Now, we don't need to put glass in there. It's, it's not a fall situation, so. Couldn't There's tell from the picture. Got a lot of handprints. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we will have to hire a full time person just for the mm -hmm. fingerprints on that one. <laughs> the glass. Yeah, Blake would have to quit 10 years from back pain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're so ugly. Okay, because it looks like there's glass on that. I just, I just can't tell, so sorry. There's no glass. Okay, cool. So this is as you come through the entry, and, and this is what you look at as you cross the, the track into that. Left would be the, you know, and then on down would be the locker rooms. Right would be the child center area. Yeah, and this is the you know change that we made last night, you know, to save some funds, and I think that looks great. I think it's a nice break from. From the windows a little bit and, mm -hmm. but then also provides an area for the tvs idea yeah that saved quite a bit of money if i remember right but we needed a place to put the sheer wall bracing anyway so that <coughs> two birds. you can imagine uh in the future adding on to this those windows would come out that wall would stay but the windows would come out and you would add on yep. uh, area or studios or Past that the track might get larger, uh, stays the same circle that we have, but yet it gets larger, and you can, you can do the short, short run or the long run, or we can very easily take that portion of the track up. Now they have the cloud over it. Cloud mimics the inside of the track, track area. And, um, and so, same thing in this one. Um, where's the HVAC? Uh, the ductwork will be off, up on your left as it comes out of the mezzanine, comes straight out of the mezzanine. Hopefully, it's up high enough that uh, you won't see it too much. Um, we'll see. Up as high as we can. We have the mezzanine, we might as well use it. Right? 
left of that railing there's your kind of center directly overhead there. Oh, 14 feet above. High up that duct will be. Mezzanine is at 1310, I believe. Another image? That it? Probably 12. Yeah, that was it. It's probably yep. 12 foot. Well, um, can we let everybody stand yeah. up and walk behind Brandon? Well, now, do you, huh? no, before you do that, do you want to do you, whose YouTube is that in? It wasn't uh, letting. Oh, you couldn't in. get okay. Sorry, you couldn't. We didn't have enough time. File. It's yeah. Almost, it's yeah, almost a, met, a gig, so it's, it's pretty good size. Seven yeah. hundred. Will all of this still be made available to the public to access? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I just got these renderings. Yes. Are you two telling them hand me the flash drive? Everybody wants to stand up and at least be able to see it. I guess it's here. Music. I'm going to have to slip out to the board meeting. Oh, you did a front row view. Is it yeah, three minutes? Yeah, is it more than three right, minutes? Right, 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 right. Right. Yeah. I can watch the whole man. You know. <laughs> That's it here. I need, it, I need it, to be able to get the chair there. <laughs> Where are you sitting now? No. Yeah. When, when you set it up for public, yes. Get some. some let Blake decide what music. Let Brent sing a song. Oh, don't let Blake. He's a Taylor Swift fan. <laughs> uh, well, in that lobby entryway area, we, we're doing something, aren't we, with either seating or something we talked about before? There's seating. Not the lobby. Not in that model? Okay. In the actual model, there's seating. Okay. <laughs> that's, why we, that's why we need that extra week yet to finish up. I look good. I like the child's room. Having the picnic tables out there is a good. It'll be fun for kids yeah, to come after school and say. You want to uh, put on the podium and let the audience come on up and take a look? I like that. Yep, we'll see you. See you, Mike. Yeah, just next door. It would fit on that jump drive. What's that? I said, if you really need it, we can put it on that jump drive. Yeah, I said, it should fit. I thought it would fit on a jump drive. Depending upon what size you put. 32 gig jump drive. Okay. We're going to have a quick meeting. Oh, we do have some. We do have some finishing touches. So for what? May want to wait, 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 wait until we get the finishes done. Oh, what's the average what? It just depends. Yeah, it just depends on how many teams come, how many swimmers you have. Um, oh. Because we need something for bleachers. I would always say no. It's never going to be enough. But um, <laughs> the um, the good thing is is with especially having that seating outside. Like, girl season would be great because it's during the spring. When you're not, and having that glass would be great because you can kind of see where they're at when, and then they're on and you can track it. And then you just go back in and watch your kid. Um, but in the wintertime, I don't know what that's going to look like. But we always make it work. Jim, landscape. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's what that's what Abra and Brian. The crash says, pads. Is you can rotate yeah. the families through. Like, hey, be courteous. Let the parents see yeah. their. Yeah. Kids. But anyway, one we'll thing I keep forgetting to look at in the plan. So six o'clock. Is and a lot so? Is there a, a an access or way from the pool to the gym directly? Like northwest. We did our first okay. there. 
for the because yeah, yeah, I know we had well, talked about where so you can do the cool down or the, or the staging of all the the swim teams. But they had like twenty. Teams well, I'm, I'm downloading your your flash drive here. There we go. I think it'll be a nice a nice start. A great jumping off. And then also on that great plan, we have ability to grow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right there. Perfect. Yes, in this one. Yeah, it just wasn't in that. You watched it just to see if it was if I was lying. I, I saw you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, on the, well, just, just, on the video. Do you want to play it again? That's perfect. No, that that looks really good. I mean, that, that is really nice. And as soon as we're able to, um, you know, get that compressed and you know get it finalized, and we'll. We'll definitely post that all to the public. And one of the benefits of coming to the meeting, you got to see it firsthand. <laughs> so there you go. Well, VIP treatment, but all the meetings are open to the public. So come on over. Yeah. Yeah, so Push like hard to get rid of like this. To, uh, oh, yeah. you shouldn't mention it. Yep. I mean, there's some things we see in this. That but I saw it. Yeah, like I render it like more and then also go through the gym. Okay. But then have them like a grassy area. I'm not sure we need to go through the locker room. A softer entry. They so talked about it having. I, I think it would be good. Locker room. I would do the whole thing. Well, and I'd be curious because I mean, a lot of a lot of folks have been to the Y's, yeah. and so it's just to have a comparison of you know, is the locker room like this, or is the locker room, you know like the cement walls and just the family side? Like I've never been to the men's side of the locker room. I've always been the family one. So I, you know, it would be nice to kind of see. So then you have a point of reference. When. Uh, you were doing your 3Ds. Do you have an image of like entering off of uh, Meridian? Because I was, I'm still oh, from the street. Coming from yeah, the south. I'm, I'm still really pushing hard that we have that grassy area, yeah. you know, as you enter. So, um, no, yet? No. Okay. Well, yet. I, that'd be wonderful if you could okay. do a nice uh, landscaped. I didn't see any trees. Yeah. I saw bushes. Oh, I saw plenty of trees. I saw you didn't see trees in there? Some birds. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I saw some massive buildings in the back out, out the windows. I don't know what those big buildings are out the windows. The building, so we didn't put all the trees in the, the, the clouds are nice though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta remember that the building's over thirty feet tall, so yes. Yeah. There's there's a number of trees, but they're probably twelve to twenty feet. Yeah. They're they're probably fifteen years down the road. Yeah, right yeah. Now. yeah. Yeah. Well, the video was lovely. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. I know that's, that's a lot of work, nice. and yeah. I want to appreciate yeah. that. And we really, truly need to really. What was emphasized last night was to get this out to the public and let them. And as soon as we can, even uh, you know, have some maybe three D models or something where you know, people can actually visualize it, you know, see it in 3D would be great. Uh, Fall Fest would be a perfect place for us to, I'm getting ahead here, I guess, but go ahead. We'll, I'll... <laughs> no, you're fine. Keep going. Well, um, you know, just the whole aspect of having a booth there at Fall Fest, if we had some 3D visions plus some pictures and, and even some uh, give them an idea and mm -hmm. I mean I would easily sit at the booth for mm -hmm. several hours to answer questions but what a better place to have you know the community uh, you know be more aware I know it was brought up have a meeting every three months well this would augment that and you get a lot more <clears throat> well I think it'd be a great idea to let people know what's going on too we can definitely, you know, between the video and we can do large boards. I mean, if like that type of thing, you can take a 48-inch screen and they're going on a laptop and run the video on, behind the booth. And yeah. Woo, yeah. Slip it, yeah. That'd be very highly impactful. Yeah, I agree. And we do have um, meetings usually bi-weekly or multiple times a month. So that's this is an open house as well, if the public didn't realize that. I, so. Yes. All right, moving right along. Do you guys have anything else? I would just ask for one more week. We'll have this yep. 
probably wrapped up pretty good. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Can we just see the columns too, just to see? What yeah, I do want to see the columns. columns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it might look bad. I, yeah, I don't know. In the, in the I'm a visual in person. The gothic style, too. right? The what? Gothic columns. I think that's going to affect your PA your future metal building cost if you start getting to gothic style columns on your. Your building. Dark oils up on the corners. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. we're columns. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so moving guys still in item A. Um, so one of the things that, that um, we do need to decide, um, we're getting to a point in the Lions Park pool project. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to give an update on that, uh, McCown Gordon, or you want me to just roll into the mural first? Just, uh, I'll just do a quick update. If if you haven't been by, go by there. It's looking good. Um, Mason is painted. The lines are painted. Thank you, Terry. Uh, they're not 100. Oh. Thanks, Terry. So I'll start over. Uh, the uh, the pool basin is painted. The line or the actual lane lines are painted. I I stopped by there just before the meeting tonight. Um, they still have the top of the coping to paint. Um, but overall, it's going really well. The uh, concrete is poured. We're going to be starting landscaping here very, very soon. Um, just putting up the finishing details. The bathroom partitions ship Friday. We should receive them Wednesday. So that's all in good shape. Uh, yeah, overall, we're really pleased with the, with the progress on it. And then here in about a week and a half, uh, the fabric for the sunshades will go up, and that'll probably be when somebody says, hey, it's looking like it's finished. Um, site fencing will go after landscaping is done. We already have the post set, but we'll come back and put the fabric because it's we don't want it to get damaged with a little uh, dingo or anything like that. So, yeah, we're really pleased with the progress on it, and it's looking good. Have everything completed and turned over, and I know we talked a little bit about uh, ribbon cutting, and so our are we ready to share thoughts on that? Yeah, go. Yep, absolutely. So I believe Keep we're going to do a, a ribbon cutting on that Saturday, correct? Uh, Saturday of Labor Day or uh, Memorial. Memorial Day weekend, not Labor Day. <laughs> Don't want to give anybody a, a heart attack there. I heard somebody uh, drop. So so Saturday we'll we'll do the ribbon cutting and uh, should be a good event. So. And Blake, you, that's usually kind of you want to describe opening day. Or? Yeah, opening day, we we do it free to the public just to give the kids all the first chance to get out there and have fun. And it's usually a really exciting day. It's usually cold water, but the kids still love getting in regardless. <laughs> so those kids don't have any temp. They can swim in any water. So yeah, um, yeah, it's a it's a fun day for the pool when it opens. Everyone's super excited. So do you know how many people usually attend? Oh, we usually. I'd have to go back and look, but I think it's between that 150 to 200 people. Okay. Cool. Yeah. depending on weather we've had rainy first days and that's not yeah. fun so yeah yeah some, sometimes it's 65 degrees yeah. and sometimes it's 95 you never yep. know what you're gonna get yep. <laughs> so no we're we're excited projects going very well um it's just booked right along and very pleased with it Yep, it's looking great. Um, and also, to uh, just to add, uh, City Crews have been uh, working as as much as they can on items uh, to you know keep the project uh, overall budget uh, as as minimal as possible. I did move a water a water hydrant uh, that actually is used to wash off the decks and those things. So the water department uh, actually took care of that and installed it uh, over here by the by the circle um, and the hexagons uh, over in this area to where it was. I, and I don't know why, how we miss it, but uh, in the middle of the concrete, <laughs> kind of right here. Uh, and so so move that. Um, also to, uh, like we mentioned, the bathroom uh, partitions uh, that Neil's crew uh, will be putting up. Um, I can't remember last time if it was done or not, but the slides, if you haven't driven by and looked at those slides, Neil's crew did a fantastic job with cleaning those up. I mean, I, I, was, I was shocked. I did not anticipate them looking uh, as good as they did. So rented a lift. You know, do you want to explain a little bit? Yes. Uh, so, yeah, like Brent said, we rented a lift. We got up there with the power washer, spent several hours power washing, and then came back with Armor All. And, uh, well, uh, let me back up a minute. We used a special product in that siphoned in with our uh, pressure water, pressure washer water, and it helped cut and clean that 
debris and that the mineralization that was had accumulated over the years on the slides. And, and I think it really did. You can real you can really see where it, you know, got rid of a lot of that oxidation and, and it, they look 10 times better, especially when we went back and polished them up with the armor all on top. So uh, we still have the, the platforms to do. We kind of wait till other phases are done and then we'll come back and power wash those here shortly before the uh, pool opens. So. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Any more questions on that? Excellent. All right, one of the items. Sorry, I'm working on one computer tonight, so I have to juggle a few of the areas. It's not as smooth as when you have two. All right, uh, so uh, one item uh, that we do need to discuss and decide tonight um, is uh, the murals. Uh, and so uh, in the base bid from uh, McCown Gordon, uh, there did include painting. Um, we realized that, um, you know, with asking Brick Mob to also propose one, uh, that uh, we kind of doubled up. Uh, and so it actually um, uh, ended up being um, a credit back from their contract towards the painting and our painting overall with the mural uh, actually uh, it was, was substantially less. Um, Brick Mob, it, they love the water tower, love Valley Center. You see all their murals around town. They've done work with uh, the Wreck and Blake on their garage door, so they gave us a really good price um, on doing a base coat paint on the entire building uh, underneath uh, by the concession stands, uh, the bathhouse outside, the sheds, basically everything that needs paint, they're going to give it a base coat. In addition to that, they're going to do uh, some murals. Uh, so here, uh, number one, uh, th this one is looking, uh, as you see the picture of the, um, of the actual, uh, you know, bathroom or side of the bath bathroom, house. bathhouse, mm -hmm. bath house. um, is, uh, right by, um, that's what the Valley center would be right, right above the bench. There would be Valley center. Uh, and then down on the left, there's the, that concession stand window. And then the lifeguards, uh, door there to the office. Uh, would be that design. So that one really looks a lot, I mean, really close, similar to, to the um, water tower. Um, very bright. And then this would go on the shed eventually uh, over uh, by the pumps uh, for the splash pad if, if that, that gets done. Um, this one, again, uh, this one has a yellow uh, or gold uh, base coat. Uh, the same tone, the same everything that's on the water tower. Uh, would be the main color of the actual building itself. The gold would be? Mm -hmm. The yellow. Okay. And then moving down to option two. Uh, here's another uh, design. Of course, this is all, you know, any input, all input. It's great. Of course, these are just, you know, their first shot at it. And um, uh, two, uh, as you see here, same thing uh, with Valley Center, uh, diamonds, kind of more aquatic. Uh, themed there on the, on the bath house uh, and then with some um, by the concession stand area we did talk to them about not because uh, that you know isn't going to wear well and and just it would be best not to paint uh, over this um, so they said no problem they'll shift it down uh, so down below here is the same uh, design just in different colors so um, the base color on that one been gray um, Not. nope. Um, so it would still be, um, I believe it's, it's yellow on all. And then this would just be on top of that as a focal point and then they'll paint the gray. Okay. And white. It's funky that they've got gray, like a white dolphin. I would think the dolphin would be gray. Oh, it just seems. Well, I think with the brightness of the, of the building, everything to soften it. And it will stand out more than you realize. I, I'm not an artist. I can't draw a stick figure, <laughs> let alone paint something like this. So paint by number still I can't do. So uh, and then down here, different color options. Yeah. Um, yep, this one down here in the yellow. You know, it's funny, it, you know, showed some of the city staff, you know, in City Hall here, of course, you know, this stuff. And, and that was that was number one uh, choice as well was 2C. 
for the water yeah. aspect. Of and they the thought, water. you know, if you remember, um, you know, the awnings, um, we have that um, teal uh, and, and green kind of, you know, pattern one, uh, that uh, yellow, and then a, a red one as well. So um, that would tie in, tie in nicely. Mm -hmm. I know they're still in design phase, but one vote from this end of the bench is maybe don't have sharks or other scarier creatures, you know, like keep them to a little kinder, gentler, but that's it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fish. Yeah. yeah, just fish. Just fish. Fish are good. Fish turtles. Yeah. yeah I like yeah. I, you know, the things that don't bite. Yeah. Or sting. Yeah. Octopus. But, yeah. But I like it. Yeah. yeah. I like that one, like Andy said. I like it because it's mm -hmm. has multicolors. Yep. It's got valley colors. And and but then the, the the first one, number one, seemed like it was just it's almost too harsh. Mm -hmm. yep. <coughs> that being like at the school or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah not, the school not school for a, it's a pretty design. Yeah. I just don't yep. see it as a pool design. Yeah, I thought, yeah, I thought the same thing like the blue. when we first saw it. Yeah, they're amazing. Yeah. I was amazed by the price. So, <laughs> we always love that. Absolutely too. incredible. You have them to a side of your house, are you? Is that so? Uh, no, well, ju just with the price, and I, you know, mentioned to to them, uh, you know, to uh, Schaefer and to McCown Gordon, and you know, all the painting, all that stuff. I mean, you know, we're we're under twenty five thousand uh, dollars with murals. And they said, you know, I had them guess first, and they're like, oh, 250000 <laughs> I was like, oh, no. <laughs> you got to drop a zero. Yeah. I didn't paint. Yeah. It, it, it uh, took me three years to paint that. So, I mean, you know, to, to be under, you know, 25000 I think is incredible. I mean, that's a huge, that's a huge that's discount. Great, great price for a lot of impact. That's a hometown, uh, that's a hometown price. That these paints are it's made for... It's anemic. Yeah, it's, it's on the water to make tower. Them last longer mm -hmm. and, you know, yep. keep their vibrant colors. That's one bad thing about yellow is it does fade so fast. So. Oh, no. So, so tanemic paint, <laughs> does that last a little bit, you guys? You? <laughs> tanemic isn't a paint. It's a coating. Coating. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a very high-end product. There's, it's got a high solids content. As far as UV resistance, I, I don't know what I, what I would compare it to. I just, it's a very good quality product. So it's on the water tower. So I mean, yeah. it's, yeah. It's, I mean, it's, and, it's gorgeous. And those would be on the east side, east facing. So yep. it wouldn't, wouldn't really get baked, baked. Well, that's the west side though. That one with the bench right there, the top one, that's a west side facing part of the building. It's on the east, side. It's on the east, east side of the building. It's, it's, inside. Inside. it's on the inside. It's on the inside. It, the west side does look the same though. You're right. No, no, no. The, go up. That's that thing would be on that building right there. On this, yes. On yeah, and this space is inside the pool. Interior. Oh, that does. That's the water oh fountain. Oh my gosh, that does. Pool. You're right. I yeah. was thinking that was the other side of the building. Right. Oh it, no, they look similar. similar. Yeah, now that many folks can see that it's in the hallway. But yeah, two well, you know, two C. I think is true. Now, now that will still get painted, and, and they're going to add. So so even on the west side of the building. Um, they're going to add a, a few, um, you know, sea creatures uh, or something, some fish and those things. Um, and then on the fence, uh, going into the pool on the fence gates, um, uh, Hornet Cutting Systems is coming up with, with a horn, some type of metal work uh, that incorporates the Hornet uh, and, and some hexagons and those things for the actual gate itself. So are they going to paint that little outhouse thing too, or the little bathroom that's outside the? Yes. Is that getting painted too? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the restrooms. Thank yep. you. Okay, One question cool. I had is, and some murals on that too. We just cool. they don't have the designs for those yet. So. What about the shed? Is it is the shed getting the Discover Valley Center? No, the shed is yeah. going to get uh, painted yellow for, yeah. and then we'll figure out. It will tie into this theming. Okay, and so this okay. is more theming. Yeah, that they just didn't have. They didn't take the shed, put some right. They put a couple of Joe they fish. They said, you know, fish. In the south, east, by the mechanical on the east. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll see it real good where the splash pad goes. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. so I mean, that's why they're looking at doing something there. Yeah. You can see it from yep. the library right mm -hmm. here. Yep. It's a nice big billboard. And so we thought, um, you know, with the splash pad being here 
and you know, and then if and when this ever goes away and moves to the north, then you know this ha- this will stay and help be more of a you know center, you know, focal point for the splash pad when you're walking up this way. Might be a big old, big old splash pad. So you never know. Gotta have. So big. we need to do some decision on this. Yep. Uh, so just, if there's a you know just general, I mean, it doesn't need to be a motion, but general consensus to let them continue the development of two C design is what I'm hearing. Yeah. It sounds. Yeah. I like two C. Yep. On the outside of the pool, the main building that you walk up, so it'd be the west side. Alex Center community. I thought, I I like thought, by, I thought by the gas meters you're gonna put some type of lettering or we talked about that. Maybe well, maybe on the, the big north valley side, center on the inside or valley center on the outside. Side, north side, north side, north side, north side would probably be better. Yeah, actually. I think that'd be good. Yeah, because yeah. 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 yeah, we had talked about that. Mm-hmm. Maybe break my could look at North City even paint like I don't know. We can look at both options. Yeah. Either just some lettering or Yep. No good idea. Or something from the yep. No, we'll we'll throw mm-hmm. that to him and say, hey, what are you gonna yep. do over here? Maybe even just the the smaller, um, you know, uh, this one, you know, the the VC with the Discover or something on it. A pool. Yeah, we'll come I up with something. I just hate to see some redundancy of the word Valley Center written all over the pool. So I think you might want to keep that in mind. Yeah, that's what I mean. Is that yeah. maybe this because it's just a yeah. B and a C? It's not Valley Center. Or three, switch well, it. Three or, sides have Valley Center written on them because we don't yeah. know where we're at. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Excellent. I'd suggest they might look at. I guess they do have one, don't they? What's that? I agree. So with the with the touch thing at the zoo, that's a oh yeah, touchy feely thing for kids. Excellent. All right. Moving right along to anything else in A and B. All right, general discussion, C. to say that the entrance out at 85th and I know it's not really part of this but um, congratulations to you guys for where the sign is out there at 85th and Broadway and all of the trees and everything that looks amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. It looks really good. <clears throat> Hopefully it will get lit up soon. Sorry for the person putting those in. I saw those flags. It's like you can't dig anywhere out there. <laughs> so, one thing. Uh, next <laughs> month Next meeting, you yes. can change that to Schaefer updates. I don't know if you all saw, we rebranded yes. yesterday, Monday. Monday. Oh. We're now Schaefer Architecture. Okay. Drop the SJCF. Yep. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> There's many reasons why we did that. <laughs> so. um, speaking of next meeting, when do you all think there we should meet again? I'm going to look to... Schaefer uh, and McCown Gordon for that. When do you think? Two weeks, three weeks? When are we going to have something substantial? Yeah, I think the next milestone from Gary. Like I said, uh, we're going to have to um, do another. Um, Big things on that is I'll be checking mechanical and electrical. But that probably won't be uh, for another three or four weeks. So you're thinking May 10th, May 17th? A24. It's, it's going to be a quick update. It'll be like a I would five not. to seven days because we get final bid drawings in six weeks. So. I level, maybe get a couple. And this mass man, just so you know. 
Is what? Mass band, just, you know, if that means nothing to you, that's fine. It's like fifth grade through high school or seniors. The big band concert. Oh, okay. You're the major one. Major, okay. That's May 10th. Okay, wasn't it May 10th? May 10th. Okay. Yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> May 10th. So May 10th, so yeah, we'll, we'll skip that one. So May 3rd or 17th. May 10th is a big band, mass band. It's, yeah, it's called mass band. Mass band. It's like fifth grade through seniors. And that's the, the big. The 17th would be great in the sense that it, the pool will just about be finished so we could actually meet there. And the only problem is then we can't record it <laughs> and broadcast it. And that gives them more time to, to do their 3D no. and, and their uh, dioramas and all that that you're going to create, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> hey, Brent, you'd like to have it before then, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, the 3D stuff should be done by what, Friday? Yeah, let me say. <laughs> I give them till Friday. Oh, Friday. <laughs> got, got to start building that energy. Yeah, well, I was say, well, we need to start fundraising. It was say. So <laughs> well, May May third or seventeenth, and then back. Yep. It's up, it's up to you all. Either way. I'm here I'm either way. So <laughs> I mean, we want to stay on our normal every other week. I sleep in my office. So. May third. I just like you said, it's reasonable. We don't May third. Will on, they though. be ready by May third? May third. Too early. It might be a little too early. So the 17th. Yeah, May 17th. 17th. There you go. Do you think May 17th? Um, if if the committee members ever want sorry, go ahead, Tina. Did you say I just wondered about clarification on that one alternate spending point that they were gonna give us some clarification on that. And I didn't know if that was enough time to give them the chance to get that. Yeah, that's plenty of time. I, I can just email Brent directly and then if you can Yep. Okay. Because um, so, how long does it? I take to go back, but um, so so the approval last night was to then get the engineers on the pre uh, pre engineer building, then time to start actually doing there. So so we have how, how many weeks? Ten. Ten weeks. Ten weeks before we have to make that decision. Okay. So May seventeenth would be fine. Yeah. Yeah. So May seventeenth. Oh yeah. That works would be yeah. fine. Yeah. So make that decision. Oh, and I plan. I think that was they wanted to know all the costs before we start. Yeah, that was a big thing. So yeah, we got plenty of time, but yeah, no, thanks for bringing that up. Um, and then if any committee members ever want to ever, you know, during the day, anything, you know, let Neil or Blake or myself know, or, um, you know, anybody more than happy and willing to, you know, bring you out there and, and take a look and, um, you know, probably give, you know, hard hats or, or vests or whatever that McCown Gordon uh, safety crews, um, you know, advise, you know, inside the fenced area to make sure we meet safety standards. Always number one is safety. Um, let us know. All right, so I got May 17th at 6 p.m. And the video, of course, uh, well, as soon as we get the video, uh, rendering all that stuff, um, you know, we'll blast that out um, everywhere uh, that we possibly can do. So I um, want to make sure that you do know that. Anything else in general? All right, we're into number eight. If anybody wants, 719. Sure. All right, motion Second. by Janet, seconded by Roger. All those in favor of the journey of 719 signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Aye. We are adjourned. <laughs> Thank you all.